bonsoir. Voilà. Bienvenue au Q&A de Hard Mary Revenge avec euh, Takanori Tsujimoto, le réalisateur, et Miki Mizuno, euh, l'actrice principale. Comme d'habitude, on va faire le Q&A euh, en anglais, enfin avec euh, traduction à partir du japonais. Mais bien sûr, si vous avez des questions euh, à poser, vous pouvez le faire en français ou en néerlandais, pas de problème. First question, I would like to, I'd like to ask both of you, what, what did you think of the public's reaction uh, to your film? えっと、あの、多少情報は聞いてたんですけど、こんなにあの静かに見てない観客なんだと驚きました。はい。あと、まあ、あの喜んでほしいところで喜んでくれたので、それはほっとしました。Well, I had a bit of a warning in advance uh, about the way the audience was behaving at this festival, but still I was surprised at uh, the amount of reactions that we got during the screening. But uh, one thing I was uh, relieved about was that uh, in, the, in the, the scenes that I wanted them to react, they reacted. So that, that was, uh, I, was, I was glad uh, about that. I was glad 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 in Japan, it's unimaginable that people react this way, that they talk out loud in the cinema and, 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 and do things like that. So this was a really, for me, a first time experience. When, when people shout in Japan, it's because they don't like the movie, not because they like the movie, true? Even, even if they do shout aloud, they do that after they leave the theater, not during the screening. <laughs> so polite. And so you say they reacted to the scenes that you wanted them to react to. Which ones would that be? Ah, やっぱりあの敵をやっつけるとどめのシーンとか、あのロケットパンチ、腕が飛ぶところとか。あと、えっと、ヌンチャクが銃になってるところとか、あと安心しろ、俺はゲイだっていう。はい。ドントウォーリー、アイムゲイっていうところとか、まあそういうところですかね。はい。Well, one of the Maybe we could come back to the, uh, the double bill that we had tonight, the, the fact that it's two films that we actually saw, a shorter one in the beginning and a little bit longer feature afterwards. Was that planned like that from the beginning? Or was it just like an, uh, an uh, evolution? えっと、ま、監督って誰でもそうだと思うんですけど、あの、1本撮って で、えっと、できれば、それで終わらしたくないというか、あの、希望としては、えっと、同じ作品の続編みたいなのができれば、特にね、そのエンターテインメント映画っていう意味では、えっと、パート2、パート3ってよくある話だし、そういうのできればい
like a finished story. There may be something else. It's just something you leave maybe uh, as some sort of like appeal to the producer. Like you give some sort of hint, like you know we can do something more with this with these characters. You leave something open. But then, of course, when the producer actually um, took took a took the hint and told us we could do the second part. Then, of course, we suddenly had to think about, okay, how are we going to do this second part? And we had to start thinking about a new story. Question for Mickey, maybe. Um, when you're doing a fight film, a martial arts film like this, uh, obviously, all the emphasis is on the battles. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's not much room for character development or for acting, if you <laughs> want me to put it like that. But what I really liked about uh, the, the movie is uh, that you had a lot of opportunity, after all, to put some character into the character. You know, this, this idea of a woman who is so scarred that every scar becomes a weapon. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about that? robot, <laughs> いじられてるようなので、そうですね。なんかあんまりキャラクターとか考えてなかったです。それより、そうですね。今度パートスリーを作るのも考えていて、その時にどうしようかなと思ってるんですけど、もうロケットパンチがあって。ショットガンがあって、こうなんかメカのナイフがあって。あとどうするんだって。あとどうするんだろうっていうパート 3では。Well, of course this this character is all, already like a half a robot and her brain has been tampered with, so I didn't really think too much about uh, the character or what or, or emotional aspects of the character, but of course now we're already considering making uh, part three of Heart Benjamin Part Three. So now we're thinking like, okay, we've already had the the chest knife part and we've had the rocket arm part. So what else can we now? Now we have to start thinking more about the emotional side of the character because we've already had all these other things. Is there a question in the public? あの、外国で意外と受けたので、2作目に取り掛かったようなことを先ほどおっしゃってらっしゃったんですけれども、やはり外国あ、あ、そうだ。Okay, I'll just translate or briefly say the question is about um the the first part was sort of like received quite well abroad, so she was wondering if when you were making the second part, whether you were already thinking about reactions outside of Japan, the audience, a foreign audience. あの、海外で受けてるっていう話は聞いてたんですけど、実際こうやって映画祭とか参加したのはあのパート2ができてからなので、実際どういうシーンでどんなところで。Well, of course, we by the time we were making the second part, we had heard that people outside of Japan foreign audiences liked uh, the first part, but of course, we didn't really I didn't attend any festivals where they were showing uh, the film. Uh, until after we finished the second part. So I didn't really know exactly which parts aud foreign audiences liked in the first film. So we weren't really thinking too much about foreign audiences when we were making the second part, because it was only afterwards that we sort of attended screenings outside of Japan. But uh, now that we are considering part three, of course, we've attended screenings of part one and two. Um, and we've been noticing the reactions to to, uh, to both parts, um, but still, looking at the way people reacted here in Brussels, uh, I think if we take reactions into account too much, we'll end up with uh, really too much blood in part three. So I have to sort of like suppress the urge to follow the taste of the audience here and uh, have too much blood in uh, part three. Then we only have one thing left to do, and it is to thank you very much for coming to the BIF. Thank you. It was very nice having you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.